I'm at a primary school in North London. Like every school, the head teacher and the business manager here look after the budget very carefully. But to see if we can help them do even better, I've brought along DCSS procurement expert Claire Dix. So here we are, Coleraine Park Primary School. How many pupils? 420. And what's the budget? 1.8 million. Okay, let's uh, go and meet the head. Roy Tedsco is acting head teacher at Coleraine Park Primary School and Dawn McKenzie is the business manager. Together, they keep a tight rein on the budget. I think we do very well here. Um, we have a, a high staff uh, um, budget here, which takes up nearly 90% of, of our original budget. So we run the school on about 10%. Running a school on 10% means that you have to look at absolutely everything that you buy in, or whether they be services or equipment. And therefore, those need hard negotiation to make them as economic as possible. Good afternoon, Coleraine Park, can I help you? We recently um, renegotiated a new contract in July for the telephone system. Um, before we had two lines, we've now got four lines and we've actually managed to save, I think, roughly, it's about probably £115 a quarter. Roy has other ways too of saving money. For example, in ICT, which over the last few years has been a major spend for all schools, finding an independent provider that is a little hungrier than the bigger names is a very good way of saving money. And his careful eye on the pennies extends to monitoring the use of paper at the school. So you keep it under lock and key? We do keep it under lock and key. And this is because we had a lot of paper wastage for a long, long time in the school. And with more than 400 Sorry. pupils, you must use a lot of paper. We do, we do. And we're constantly looking for paper and constantly looking for deals on paper. And wherever we can find it, we then purchase How much and we paper stock. How do, do you actually use? We use round about, I would have suggested, about 300 or 400 uh, boxes. And there's five reams in each box, Are at you? least. I think about a year, yes, year. three or four hundred boxes at least. So because this cupboard is locked, yeah. how do teachers get access to it? How does it work? Teachers have to come to me to ask for paper. Uh, by having to come to me and ask, what actually happens is I keep a little bit of a control on it. Mm. I'm not a total ogre, though I have been known at one stage when we were trying to cut it down to actually only give them one or two reams per teacher per term. And this really worried them. Mm. I'm less stringent now. But uh, we're always looking to find a supplier or a deal on paper. And if we can get it at less than £1.50 a ream, we're doing quite well. Mm. And you, you use this paper in your photocopiers as we well? We do. Anyway, we use it for the photocopier, we use it for printing, we use it for everything that we can. Because of Roy's astute financial management, the school has recently been able to end each year with a small surplus. So, with the savings from last year's budget, uh, we were able to look at our speech and language resource provision. We have new sink units put in, new floors, new carpets. Um, the whole place has been painted. We put a, a new soundproof room for speech and language therapists to work in so that it doesn't interrupt and, and disrupt the, the, the main working that goes on in the classroom. So how much had you saved from your budget that you were able to put towards this room? We were about able to put about £8,000 that we'd saved towards it. We got a kind of matched funding from the access uh, fund and that's the setup costs. But there's now very little slack in the budget. Where can we possibly find any savings? Perhaps the clue lies with what Roy thinks is one of his biggest expenditures after staffing costs. Right, this is the colour photocopier and this is not used too often because of obviously the expenditure involved. And this is the one that can be hooked up to all the computers in here so that you can actually get photocopying straight from the computers into the photocopying machine. Okay. Our main one, which does a lot of work, is this particular photocopy here which is only in black and white and uh, does things like sorting and stapling. 
And tucked away upstairs is the school's third photocopier, another black and white one. And what type of contract do you have? We have a lease contract with these machines. What was the process of getting these contracts in place? We looked at about three different providers for this to find out the best contract that would suit us. And also, of course, we were looking for machines that did things like sorting, perhaps, and collating and stapling. So we took all that into account, so it wasn't just finance. And are your copies included in the cost? No, they're not, actually. I mean, what, what we've, we've done is that they always come with a certain number that figure onto the photocopier, mm -hmm. but it's never enough for us. So we've negotiated slightly differently with that, that we don't pay copy cost if we can possibly avoid it. Suppliers are, are, are very interested in taking these sort of long-term long contracts on board because it's extremely profitable to them. So they were actually willing to do all sorts of, of negotiating behind the scenes for this kind of contract, mm. yes. And the maintenance and everything would be covered by the Maintenance contract. is part of the contract, yes, yes. And how long is the contract for? Um, we originally signed on for five years and I think we've got about three years remaining or so with that. But we're always constantly looking for updates because obviously machines mm. uh, that were modern two years ago are no longer so. Do you know how much you're paying on the contracts at the moment? Yes, our contract costs us round about approximately twenty-four to twenty-five thousand pounds ex VAT per annum. This kind of lease contract that you've got is it one of the major expenditures? It is. It's a huge expenditure on our budget. Well, Claire, what do you think? I mean, he really does seem to have quite a grip on the budget. Yes, um, he does. He's really trying very hard in lots of areas, keeping a control of how much paper they use and that kind of thing, which is all good practice. But I do think the photocopier contract is particularly expensive. Yeah, it does sound like quite a lot. Mm. Well, while we go back to the office to investigate, here's our cautionary tale. After a scare about Legionnaire's disease, a local authority informed schools that all shower heads would have to be specially cleaned four times a year. Two men duly turned up at one primary school and spent 10 minutes cleaning the school's two shower heads. A few weeks later, the business manager noticed that the local authority had deducted £280.50 for this service. That would mean paying over £1,000 for cleaning the shower heads four times a year. After consulting the borough's health and safety coordinator, the business manager established that the school could deal with the shower heads itself. All that's needed is to run water through each shower head for a minute and then spray with an antibacterial product. Don't be afraid to compare prices and challenge suppliers to secure value for money. We wanted to find out how Roy would use any savings Claire manages to find. Well, what I'd like to do with any savings that we do get is that we have this extraordinarily long wall in the playground here and I would like to have a project with the children actually doing their own mural to brighten up the playground and make sure that they have some investment and ownership in it. Mm. Have you had any quotes? Do you know what kind of sum we're talking about? Um, I have had a quote from a resident artist who's looking at about £3,500 to do the whole thing. To see what savings Claire could find for Coleraine Park Primary, she first checked the telephone bills. Schools should be looking to pay around 0.65 pence per minute for a standard local call and 0.75 pence per minute for a standard long distance call. By using a consortium contract, the school could reduce its call charges by around 30% a year. Then Claire looked at the photocopier contract. She discovered that Coleraine Park, like many other schools, has fallen into a common trap with three costly results. First, they've rolled over the remaining lease on their previous machine. A lease is a commercial loan with a finance company. If a lease is terminated early by upgrading to a new machine, the balance of the old lease still has to be paid off. This is added to the new lease, which means they're borrowing this money for a further five years and paying interest at commercial rates. A worst-case scenario could see the rollover becoming a larger figure than the actual cost of the photocopier. The second point is that they're being charged the full list price for the machines. Most photocopiers are sold at a significant discount, particularly if they're on a consortia or OGC, Central Government Framework, contract. Third, they've been sold copies up front and are paying interest on the copy charge. Claire contacted a local consortium supplier who can provide machines to the same specification for 70% less per year. So we've definitely found some useful savings for Coleraine Park Primary School. But before we reveal these to Roy and Dawn, here's our top tip. 
15 months ago, Soham Village College ordered a purchase card from the local authority. Purchase cards are issued by various high street banks and are like corporate credit cards but without the fees. The time it takes to actually go through the process of ordering is much, much smaller now. Time is money. The National E-Procurement Project says it costs £26 to go through the time-consuming process of raising a purchase order all the way through to payment of the invoice. Now it's an instant thing. It's onto the computer, enter the details and the order is actually done. With so many bargains available online, schools can scour the internet for good deals on books, DVDs, stationery, print consumables and much, much more. We've been able to save huge sums of money on cartridges. Just alone since January, we've probably saved about £300. An alternative to the purchase card is the government purchase card, which schools can acquire through the OGC, the Office of Government Commerce. This card comes with discounts at two major retailers. So think about getting a purchase card. Save time and money. Now back to Coleraine Park Primary School to tell Roy and Dawn about the savings. OK, Roy, Dawn, you'll be pleased to learn, I'm sure, that we have found some savings for you. Oh, how wonderful. Great. First of all, we'd recommend that you consider using a government purchase card. And the reason behind that is you can actually save money on the transaction time that you, you undertake in actually processing these transactions. Mm -hmm. On a couple of transactions a week, you can save about £1,000 in the whole of the year. So it's certainly worth considering if you look into that. And I know you've just changed your phones quite recently, but we've looked into the call charges. And um, if you looked at a consortia or an Office of Government Commerce contract, you could possibly save around £400 a year on your call charges on that oh, alone. That's quite healthy. I won't pay the salaries, but it'll no, certainly No, but that's help. certainly worth, yeah. worth considering. Yeah. Um, but the main issue is your photocopier contract. Yeah. And um, I know you did think that it was expensive. Yes. The way that you'll be able to save money in the future is if you'll have to wait for the actual contract to finish. Um, but what we suggest is that you don't look at um, rolling over the lease any further than it has done already. Right. If you were to rent similar photocopiers, even with a little bit higher spec, then there's a, there's a saving there. You're suggesting a, a rental agreement rather than a lease agreement? Mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong with leasing as long as you don't roll over the lease and take an old lease into a okay. new one. You could spend about £7,000 opposed to the 24, so that's a saving of £17,000 just on the one contract. So a potential saving of £17,000. I mean, that, that how surprised are you by that? Very surprised, and that's quite an incredible saving, isn't it, Don? Mm, I'm very surprised. That is almost the same as what a teaching assistant would cost us for a year. Absolutely. So we could actually invest in more, like have more teaching assistants to assist the children and help around the school. So you've got some specific advice there about not rolling over the contract. That could make quite a big difference. It could indeed, especially as I'm getting phone call upon phone call from the company at the moment. Who, who knows that we're two years into that contract and therefore they would be happy to upgrade. What I didn't realise is that by upgrading we're tying ourselves up even more. So it's good to know. Yeah, you know, on your advice I shall go with letting the lease run and then retry again. So the total savings Claire has found amount to £18,400 a year. So we can have either one more person or several murals. Yeah, you could have murals on every wall. Yes, that would be really good. Yes, well, that's excellent. Thank you. Thank you.